This is MB Now, and here are your news on web. Local government units in Metro Manila are all set for the pilot implementation of the new alert level system on COVID-19 starting tomorrow, September 16. Metro Manila Council Chairman and Paranaque City Mayor Edwin Olivares said LGUs are ready despite the mere two days given to them to prepare for the pilot implementation. Most of the Metro Manila mayors have already been declaring granular lockdowns. Olivares said the guidelines given to them are almost the same as the previous quarantine protocols. He added that the focus under the new alert system would be on the three C's, closed spaces, crowded areas, and close contact. He said the new system will also allow for the opening of the economy. Metro Manila will be placed under alert level 4 from September 16 to September 30. Allowing fully vaccinated individuals in limited dine-in and personal care services in areas under alert level 4 is not a discriminatory move, according to the Department of Trade and Industry. DTI Secretary Ramon Lopez explained in a televised briefing Tuesday, September 14, that allowing dine-in and personal care services to operate in a limited 10% capacity and only accommodating fully vaccinated customers are aimed at regaining the employment in these establishments, which remained closed since the implementation of the ECQ in the Metro Manila. With the reopening of these businesses at limited capacity, about 150,000 to 200,000 workers will regain their jobs. Lopez said that only way to convince the IETF to open the sectors is to ensure the strict implementation of health protocols in indoor services. He also said that the Department of Health also feared that while customers and workers under these sectors are fully vaccinated, transmission of the COVID-19 may still happen. But Lopez said that it may happen, but at least it will not cause severe or critical cases. He also said that they believed in the vaccine and we should also believe in the vaccinated. The Intertropical Convergence Zone or ITZZ remains the dominant weather system affecting most parts of the country according to Pagasa. Weather specialist said in the latest weather bulletin today, September 15, ITZZ may bring scattered rain showers and thunderstorms over Biliran, Eastern Samar, Leyte, Northern Samar, Samar, Southern Leyte, and Mindanao. Meanwhile, clear skies due to a ridge of high-pressure area may prevail over Metro Manila and the rest of the country. Pagasa also pointed out that a low-pressure area may form east of the country in the next few days. The World Health Organization warns the world against vaccine inequity on Tuesday. This after Africa has been left behind by the rest of the world as only 2% of the more than 5.7 billion COVID-19 vaccine doses administered globally have been administered in the continent. The aim of the World Health Organization is to vaccinate at least 40% of the population of every country by the end of this year and 70% by the middle of next year. The World Health Organization, the African Union, and COVAX have been calling on vaccine manufacturers to prioritize the COVAX program and facilitate the sharing of vaccine technology and intellectual property. The African Union also said they want to buy COVID-19 vaccines rather than keep waiting for donor-funded doses to arrive. They also urge producers to give the continent a fair shot at market access. Cases de Levine added another achievement on her list as Miss Universe Philippines candidate. Recently, she was declared as winner of the first ever Miss Universe Philippines Lazada video contest. Cases was followed by Leren May Bautista from Laguna and Steffi Rose Aberasturi from Cebu Province as second and third placer, respectively. Prior to winning the Lazada video contest, Cases topped the headshot and video introduction challenges, while Steffi dominated the runway challenge. The preliminary interview of the Miss Universe Philippines beauty pageant will take place on September 21 and the preliminary swimwear and evening gown competitions will take place on September 23. Coronation night will take place on September 25. The popular YouTube tandem and real-life couple Jason Manabat and Camille Trinidad, popularly known as Jamil, will be sharing a comeback video today, September 15. Yesterday, they teased about their comeback in their respective social media accounts. The two stars uploaded a snap of their vlog cam, then in another post, Camille shared a clip of Jayzam editing their videos. Last month, the controversial couple surprised their followers when they shut down their YouTube channel, which has more than 12 million subscribers. Afghanistan's new sports chief said on Tuesday that the Taliban will allow 400 sports but declined to confirm if women can play a single one. According to newly appointed sports chief Bashir Ahmad Rustamzai, they will not ban any sport unless it does not comply with the Sharia law. He added that there are 400 types of sports allowed including swimming, soccer, running, and horse riding. 
but when asked about women's participation, he said he was still awaiting decrees from the top Taliban leadership. He added that the opinions of the senior Talibans are important and saying that he can only authorize it if and when the senior Talibans allows it. Apple recently announced the new iPhone 13 and the iPhone 13 mini. It sports the same familiar design from its predecessor but with a couple of tweaks and improvements. The new iPhone 13 and iPhone 13 mini uses a new A15 chip which improves its performance and battery life. Its camera now has a cinematic mode where it can actually change focus during a video to give it a cinematic style. The iPhone 13's notch is also a tiny bit smaller and its storage options now include 128, 256, and 512GB. Apple has yet to announce its availability in the country. Meanwhile, this week on Tech Talk, keeping track of your fitness goal can be challenging. But with technology by your side, devices are now available to help you achieve your fitness goals. Tonight on Tech Talk, we check out Fitbit's newest fitness trackers, the Fitbit Locks for adults, and the Fitbit Ace 3 for kids. Make sure to tune in tonight on Tech Talk at 6 p.m. at Tech News Online Facebook page. And those are the news on web. For more news and updates, follow our official social media pages or log on to www.mb.com.ph. Be fully informed.